People have been asking for a Shiba Inu ETF, and honestly, for a Shiba Inu video, I have been talking about SHIB for some time. So if you want more content like this, we have been waiting for this for such a long time, guys. So if you want more content like this, you know what to do. Smash that like button, and I will keep you guys updated with more news. Seems like SHIB ETFs are huge at the moment. The market still picking up, still increasing. And unfortunately, right now, as you're watching this video, it's increasing to the downside. So this is the problem right now. Crypto is not doing as well as we thought, but that doesn't mean the future will be bad for it. Like, I am definitely really excited to see crypto go up in that sense. Like, it could definitely see some major improvements as people expected. Again, SHIB ETF is a long, long way ahead because the Shiba Inu devs need to push in more effort if we ever want to see you know, like the bull runs from the ETF vibes. Like if we want to see the big players come in, we're going to need big banks. We're going to need big money. So that's where I feel the big problem is going to be right now. But that being said, does seem like Shiba Inu ETF is still super early, still going strong, still out there. So definitely not giving up on it yet. But... I feel like the Ethereum ETF, that's the next big thing that's going to happen. Also, if you guys haven't already smashed that like button. If you want cryptocurrency exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it into similar issues, I never... You. So yeah, usually... Um, the biggest problem I find with ETFs is they're going to pick the safe bets, the ones that SEC is going to accept. Is the SEC obviously going to look into uh, XRP ETF, which just had a huge SEC lawsuit? Will they accept a bit a Shiba Inu ETF, which is known to be a highly volatile ship coin that they have mega whales for holders? No, they're going to it was hard to even get Bitcoin accepted at that point. And I think that's the big problem. Nobody, and I mean truly nobody, likes to, to pick the losing sides. And that's where I find the problem with crypto. Um, right now, the biggest problem is most people, they don't simply care enough about SHIB. They don't care about what happens, about what will happen. Um, and they don't care enough about to list it as an ETF. I think that's the biggest problem. And the amount of people who are willing to buy in and hold. Bitcoin clearly has the highest trading volume doing hundreds. Exactly. So Ethereum could be next just because it's really, really profitable. It's like a no brainer for a lot of these cryptos to pick it out. This doesn't mean cryptos will be the biggest aspect to it. Like there's going to be probably be many more cryptos um, that are going to be different in that sense than the ETF we have now. So if you ask me, Definitely going to be seeing more of these uh, opportunities for sure in the long term sense. But in the short term, I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Like right now, I find it kind of problematic. Hundreds of billions of dollars a day. It's got the highest market cap at near $900 billion in total market cap. And therefore, it is going to be very, very lucrative for these institutions to create these. Exactly. So they're definitely going to be looking into the long term play here with crypto so that's the good news like a lot of people are going to be staying in that going to be looking for for a bitcoin etf but they're not going to be looking for a ship etf anytime soon in my opinion that's where i find the big problem etfs why because they charge a fee the fees roughly depending on which one you're looking at roughly half a percent and half a percent fee that is going to be loaded up on tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars, is going to be massive amounts of money that these institutions will make. Again, yeah, this is for Bitcoin ETF. And even then, they're prepared to lose like a big portion of their money right now. Like they're sacrificing their profit now to earn later. For them to do so if the volume is low, if assets under management are low, which is why I believe we could see a mean coin ETF category that includes. I think this will happen like when the SEC is like, okay, you can do this, but you got to say it's highly risky. Like even to get a crypto ETF, it took such a long, long time in that sense that it really makes you wonder like, where will the crypto go in that sense? Like how far will it take to finally see 
that massive potential a lot of people have been waiting for. Includes Shiba Inu coin. So guys, I don't know what that time frame is going to look like, but I do know this. It might not be soon. Because Elizabeth Warren, as, as lovely as a lady as she is, yesterday she posted on X saying the SEC gov is wrong on the law and wrong. So yeah, there's obviously very high government that's against crypto and posting Bitcoin. And they're probably going to be for a while. Like there's going to be always people that are against Bitcoin. Uh, they're going to be against the potential utility of Bitcoin. And for a good reason, because the crypto is still very early. So they aren't too sure of what, what's, what's going to happen next. They aren't too sure where they're going to like put in, what they're going to focus on. So that's where I, I see the, the problems in that crypto space, like where crypto has that massive, massive uh, cost problem. But that being said, I do think crypto right now, it's still fairly early. And a lot of people uh, in crypto over long term can still be bullish on it. And it's more urgent than ever that crypto follow basic anti-money laundering rules. Guys, I will tell you right now, if you want to seem as ignorant as possible when talking about cryptocurrency, talk about, and talk about money laundering and the fact that it's used for money laundering. It, you guys know this, right? This hasn't been used like this has been the case old. It's like your grandma saying, yeah, crypto is cool, but it's used for money laundering. Like this is legit what we're seeing to these days. Um, people still think money laundering is real thing in crypto. It has not been a real thing for such a long, long time in that sense. And I don't think it's gonna ever be like a serious scenario in that sense. Like people have been talking about this, like how big of a problem it is, how it's complicated. Absolutely not. And that's where I feel um, that the government really doesn't understand how the early potential of crypto. They're still talking about things that were talked about maybe 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. Um, and it really makes you wonder what the heck is going on they're really not advanced on the cryptocurrency market and it's keeping a lot of people frustrated in that case stop causing so many problems it's not going to be easy to see it again it's not going to be easy to see an ethereum etf but it's going to be even less easier to see a shiba inu etf we needed three years to even get shibarium uh and i feel like that's the big problem if you guys want to be kept up with more date be sure to smash that like button and i will keep you updated peace everyone